Uh, you know, the one thing that the Guineas have always had over us? They were organized. Capos, Casilieres, soldiers. It's a hierarchy. It's that organization, that organization that got them where they are today. But we, we've always been disorganized. I mean, how else could the white man snatch millions of Negroes out of Africa instead of coming together and crushing them? We're too busy warring amongst ourselves. I mean, we rely on the Italians for our numbers banks for the dope. We pay a tax for all the women that we put out on the street, for the dice games in the alley. I mean, this shit, this shit, come on, this shit gotta stop, right? And you're gonna be the boss, man. I've been on the street for 30 years. And what we need is organization. And with me, you make more money, you have protection. The kind of protection you get when we got each other's backs. This is what I want to accomplish. What about the Duji? Can't control Harlem unless you got a steady source of Duji. The Guineas, they, they'll sell you a key for 27,000. But I can get it from the Spicks for 21. Come on, that's second class shit. I get that grease ball dynamite. How you think I took over Parkside? You cut that shit 80%, ooh, still knock a motherfucker on his ass. It's your choice, Earl. Use a legend, Bumpy. Just a little out of step. Besides, the kiddies do just right by me. So if you will excuse me, I need to uh, get back to my ladies. Happy birthday. <laughs> Take that nigga out back. Thing Earl was right about, we need that doji. This is Papa Lot Mob Ties. We on our way to Harlem with it. All my Harlem niggas get in the comment box, let your thoughts be known. Yeah, we're gonna be reviewing the uh, Godfather of Harlem first three episodes. Godfather of Harlem covers. The relationship between the civil rights movement and organized crime. It mostly focuses on the relationship between um, Harlem Godfather, Bumpy Johnson, and Malcolm X as we explore the complicated relationship between the two historical figures. As this show opens, Bumpy Johnson just got released from the box. I call it Alcatraz for y'all niggas out there. He's coming home after doing a bid. Meets up with his shorty. Mimi Johnson holding it down. They're raising a granddaughter who they call their daughter. All the while dealing with the daughter, Margaret, who is a junkie addicted to heroin. And as the story unfolds, we learn that Bumpy Johnson is entangled in the war with Vinnie the Chin Giganti for control of Harlem. And it gets pretty wild and violent. The first three episodes are off the hook. I definitely recommend it. Need to check it out. This is your boy, Papa Lot, underscore P O P. You know, y'all hit the comment section. Mob, mob, mob ties.